This is the making of the carbon fiber mast gate on the first mod. I decided to let my creative juices flow and take my time and enjoy the process of making a two-sided mast gate. I knew it needed to be two-sided because I tried with one side and I found that it was difficult to close the lever and also do some type of closure at the same time like a little like dropping the pin on the right hand side was my plan and then I cut it short because it was too hard to push the mast and also have a free hand for the mechanism. And I decided it needed to have a part that folded from the right to provide that extra leverage. So this video was um, capturing the process of trying to make some type of a spring-loaded uh, latch that was fun to use, plenty secure, and uh, made it possible for me to do a one-handed mast stepping. So here you see me trying to experiment with where, uh, with how I can attach the uh, little aluminum. Uh, latch mechanism there and I was um, deciding to basically do it with some type of a spring from the bottom and um, here you see me using the mechanism to make a scratch on the rear uh, gate so that I can then file it down now it's a bit more filed down and now it's attached to a living hinge from the right a carbon fiber living hinge and now it is welded to the living hinge with carbon. And uh, you see that it's strong enough, but there's a little bit of play and slop here. So then I decided to attach some upper and lower um, guides that prevent that um, extra motion. Five minute epoxy and 24 hour epoxy are the main tools here. Here's the five minute epoxy in use. And they are tacked on with the five minute epoxy. And you can see the action there. But there's still quite a lot of uh, up down motion, and I just want it to feel more uh, just held in there. I decided to put in a pin um, that would prevent a lot of that motion because it's further to the left so it has a more ability to really stop motion versus the stuff that I did on the right hand side. Here I am tapping the threads so that I can thread the pin in to the outer gate and then it will pop into a hole in the inner gate. Interestingly you can see that the aluminum latch has separated from the living hinge. I heated it up too much when I was trying to remove some metal to make room for the pin uh, and then it failed and I had to apply epoxy later to weld it in. So there you see me basically just trying to file away material, get a nicer and nicer fit. This final clip of me using the mask gate outside on San Pablo Avenue shows the action of the mechanism. It is a nicely welded little spring mounted latch there.